All right, hello, good people, wherever you are in our wonderful world. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now, in 700 feet traffic light camera ahead. It doesn't matter what type of uh, drone you have. Well, it should be over the $200 range. Because when, when you go over the $200 range, then I know it has a particular feature. Now, I have a Potensic Adam SE drone. Now, for some reason, when I hit return to home, it don't come back as, as easy as I like. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm push, pushing a button too long or something. Well, today, when I hit that button return to home, it like it was coming home. Then it stopped. Then I hit it again. It stopped. And then I hit it again. Then it went forward. So it went. It, it, it moved on to the distance somewhere where the drone just never returned home. And well, yeah, it never came back to even the area that I was in. I saw the drone descending. It was descending. I tried to make it go back up, but it just kept descending and kept descending and kept descending. So it descended. Now, since I'm still new to flying drones or the professional quality drones, I'm used to nano drones and all that. But the professional quality drones, I'm getting used to them. So, like I said, it just kept descending and descending and descending. And since I'm still new, I didn't go too far from my neighborhood. But I had to walk. It landed somewhere in my neighborhood. It never returned to home. So I said, oh my God, what, do I, what can I do? What can I do to find that drone? Because I don't know where it's at. So, I had an idea where it was, but then the idea came to me. Hey, use that Google map thing that I'm showing you right here. Use this map. Now, <coughs> it won't show the drone in the distance, but the drone is right here, right beside me. It's right beside me. Can you see as I'm sitting in the car, it's right beside me. But, when a drone is far from me, I'm, if, I'm, if my drone program right, I'm going to give an example of what a drone probably was. When a drone is far from you, <clears throat> uh, I discovered in this mode I am right now, it was able to track, I was able to track the drone and I eventually found it. So my, t my subject for the day is if you lose your drone, if it don't return to home, if you lose your battery too far away from you, and it is, or if you lose the battery, I guess the signal gonna be gone. But if you lose the battery, you still have an idea where area then by looking at this map. And the good thing about this map, as you can see, I can zoom in to get a good idea, idea of my neighborhood. So this is the max range. So I, I was able to do this right here that I'm just not doing to get an idea of where it landed in my neighborhood. I, even though it was above my neighborhood, I still know, recognize some of the buildings there. So this is how I was able to find my drone. I left the camera mode and I went into the map mode to help me find my camera that was somewhere on here. So like I said, I'm gonna put a mark on here. The drone was located at a certain spot and as, as I was walking, my little thing, the little uh, circle with the triangle on it, it kept moving until I approached the drone. So I said, thank God, that's the benefit of getting drones in a $200 range and above. Cause I know that DJI can do this. I know the Arctel could do this, but I, I bought my drone for like $219 on Black Friday sale. My Potensic Adam SE was originally $269 on Amazon, but with thanks to Black Friday, it got dropped to $219. So that's, that's how much I paid for it. But the, but, the, but the main thing is, people, if you lose your drone, it fall out the sky, it don't return to home, you're not lost. Go to the mapping mode to track your drone down like I did mine. All right, I hope this was, was some benefit to you, to you, especially the new users. I'm sure the veteran people, you already know about how to track it down like this. But if you're new to it like I, were, like I am, and like many other people are, use this map mode to track your drone. And also with the map mode, it's also good when you're flying a drone in the neighborhood. I discovered that too. I don't use it much because... I may start using it some more. I'm not, I, may, I may stay away from this top part. I may go right to the map mode, zoom into my neighborhood. And that'll help me with my drone. All right, I hope this video was helpful to you. Until the next time, good people, peace.